What's going on Swift Archie Nation? This is Josh and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys five tips for injury prevention for runners. And this can also um, be very beneficial for anyone that's doing any type of fitness or any type of physical activity, such as weightlifting, CrossFit, um, biking, and so forth. So this really, this video will like, it's mostly focused for runners, but it can also be related, it can also be very beneficial for every single athlete and every person that does physical activity. So let's get right on to the video. It's always a great moment when you're feeling very active and always like, you know, you're hitting your goals and performing well, or you're just getting out there to just go and just get some physical activity in. And then all of a sudden you get like some back pain, knee pain, or some like pain area, some pain in your legs. And that can cause like major setbacks and for your what for what type of goals that you're trying to hit so i hope these five tips are very useful for you guys and for like injury prevention so my first tip for you guys is proper running shoes or just proper shoes depending on what type of um sport that you're doing or what type of activity that you're doing because you need to remember that proper shoes is like the foundation for ev for everything else it's a foundation for your body so without a proper without a strong proper foundation everything else is going to collapse because if you're running so let's say if you're like a runner and you're running in like like some running in basketball sneakers or running in tennis shoes you know you're gonna start feeling like you're gonna start getting shin splints you're gonna start having like getting pain in your pain in your arches and then you're gonna start feeling some like now that you're gonna start feeling some knee pain then it's gonna go up to like hip pain and then you're gonna start feeling some back pain as well so always having proper shoes is very very important depending on what type of activity you do especially runners this is why for runners it's like the most expensive um the most expensive like part of like doing doing running is buying expensive shoes because you need to have like you want to have good shoes that support your feet so always have proper footwear depending on whatever activity that you do Tip number two is warming up. And I, what I mean by warming up, I mean by dynamic warm up. So warm up is like very crucial to prepare the body to warm. To, is it, it helps it, it helps warm up the body to prepare it, to prepare the body for what's to come. So a dynamic warm up is something that's more like sport specific related to what type of activity that you're doing. So it gets, it gets that body, it gets the body ready. So I always tell like, you don't want to do like a static stretching. So static stretching means that you're just standing in one position where you're just like just stretching like say like you're just on the ground and you're just doing um you're just doing um toe touches toe like you're just doing the toe touch and you're just holding that position for like 30 seconds you don't want to do do side stretches before before like before an activity especially before a run as well because dynamic warm-ups are like they're very beneficial because it's getting it's getting the body ready to it's, it's loosening up the muscles to get the body ready for performance and also perform it for to make it more mobile during whatever activity that you're doing so dynamic warm-up is very crucial before eight before you start any activity that you're that that you do Tip number three I'll give you guys is stretching and foam rolling. So stretching and foam rolling is very, very important after you work, after you've done a workout or even after a run because you're, what happens, especially when you run, is that your body, your body has done a, like a lot, the muscles did a lot of wear and tearing, but depending on how many miles you ran or for like, for any type of like workout, if you've done like weightlifting or if you've done like, if you do CrossFit, it does a lot of wear and tear to the body. So you need to basically make sure that those muscles are like really tight and compressed. So what you need to do is you need to stretch your body and foam roll so you can basically make those muscles be really relaxed again. And that's when static stretching comes into play, which you, where static stretching is more like you're just holding a position for 30 to 30 to 15, like 15 to 30 seconds. So I really, after you've done your workout or, I've, or after you've done your run, make sure you're, make sure you're stretching and foam roll. That's very important because that, that's going to help you prevent injuries when, you, when you're getting ready for your next, next run or next workout. Foam rolling and stretching will not only prevent you from getting hurt, but it will also improve your flexibility as well. Tip number four, which is a very, very big one, same as number one, is replenish what you have lost. So what I mean by this is hydration, food, and make sure you're getting all your vitamins and your minerals as well. For hydration, 
usually you need to be drinking like I don't know depending on how much you ac exercise because you, when you exercise you sweat a lot and only that not only that but exercising running whatever your exercise that you're doing it does wear and tear the body so you have like you need to like replenish that with a lot of like with a lot of water so water is gonna help your body help your muscles be more 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 lucrative so it's gonna allow it to basically move more easy, easily so hydration is very very important after after a workout after you have after you've done like a heavy session or just doing just running in general so make sure you're hydrating as well and don't just drink only water also drink also get some electrolytes in your vitamins and minerals and when it comes to electrolytes you can get that in like soft thick like and sports drinks such as um gatorade powerade and so forth so there's like a there's like ways you can get some of get more electrolytes in and on top of that also when it comes to vitamins and minerals so you got to make sure we're replenishing with some like with some magnesium some potassium cal um, some calcium vitamin d especially for runners because we do we do put like a lot of like stress on the body Bones. So vitamin D and calcium is very important for that bone for that bone formation and also to strengthen our bones. So you need to get vitamin D and also some calcium in as well. And you can get these vitamins and minerals and food. So if you're getting your fruits, your fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. So you gotta make sure you have those five things in your plate. Plate it's gonna help you replenish a lot of your vitamins and minerals. Last tip number five is strength training. So strength training is also a very important one as well because sometimes depending on what sport you do or whatever activity you do, especially when it comes to sports as well, that we only do we only do strength training that's only specific to our sport. So especially for a runner, we only do like more like weight training that's more like sport that's more like specific towards our sport but we forget to like work on the like the little like the little muscles or the assistance muscles that helps our major muscles so that can create like a lot of imbalances and that can lead to a lot of injuries as well so doing like strength training like especially like like focusing on doing like back squat deadlift bench press um hang cleans power cleans and so forth and also doing like assistance exercises like um single leg rdls um um, dumbbell 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 flies and so forth it's going to help your muscles it's going it's going to help you help your muscles get stronger especially if you and, and if you don't do weight training at all I highly recommend you do weight training because especially if you're doing a sport because the muscles your muscles do get wear and tear and also because it, their muscles do wear and tear a lot but strength training is gonna help it help those muscles get stronger so it's gonna start creating though it's gonna start basically balancing your muscles more and stop preventing any and getting rid of those imbalances. So strength training is very crucial. All right guys, those are my five tips and I hope those tips really help you guys out there. That's where whatever activity you guys are doing, especially for runners, I hope these tips really help you. If you guys like this video, smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys wanna know when my latest video is gonna be uploaded or when I basically upload more tips, gaming, reaction, and in uh, my workouts in my in my channel i'm a variety channel so i'm still working on it i'm getting better at it guys so i but i really hope these tips really help you guys um prevent injuries from happening all right guys until next time i love each and every single one of you